today we're going to be uh, taking down German Stormtrooper from my collection. This is a few pictures in the book and all his equipment. There we go. We've got a list of his equipment here. Later on, we'll uh, look at the list and we'll look what we've got. And what if we ain't got it, we'll look what we've got to get. Right, so without further ado, let's get him down. Here he is up here. And his eagle eyes, obviously. Um, I don't know it's that, if that's an early uniform or a late uniform. Normally there was two kinds. There was the early uniforms, which were better quality, and the late ones, which were made cheaper, obviously for more profit. But let's get him down and see what's wrong with him. Because he was on the end, I don't think the sunlight got to him, so I think he's mainly um, dust. I'm hoping anyway. So he's actually in really, really good condition. The uniform feels like the first edition because it's in really good quality. He seems to have everything. And then there's his backpack. And there you go. Right, so let's take him into the uh, display cabinet room and let's give him a quick dust. Right, here we go. Um, mainly dust. I'm just going to give him a brush first. Oh, look at that. Oh, that shows one of the problems with vintage action man's. Obviously, his head's broken off, and now I've got to go ahead and fix that. We all know how to do that, and I'll show you that in a later picture. We've seen it a thousand times. Right, here we are downstairs. This is an add on to the original video. The original video format wasn't really fixed out and lost the footage anyway, so we're going to be taking a look at this guy today downstairs and adding this video in then uploading this video, which will be original videos and add-on videos. Right, anyway, so we've got a German here, obviously a German Eagle Eyes action man. The flopped hair, his head fell off. I must repair that, but it's not a big deal for me because I'm only showing him in the cupboard. I can do that when and if. Right, I don't know a lot about the German uniforms. I have this guy here with his fleeced backpack. It also has these two straps which come off with hooks on. I'm not sure what they would hook onto. It looks like a sort of paratrooper type thing to me to a reserve parachute. I, I really don't know why they would be there. Can't see any reason unless they clip on the belt but they're too long for that. So I don't really know. So first off, I'm gonna start by looking in the book and then I'm gonna look online. Right, okay, there's a few German uniforms. This is the first one I got, it's the German Stormtrooper. Um, this looks like my uniform. I'm going to take his head off. Please don't look. This one has a swastika on it, which I think I'm right in saying that they take it off at some point. I don't know whether that's political correctness. Or... This is the first issue that I'm looking at here. Um, it looks very similar to mine. It's got the fur on the back of the uh, rucksack. It's got what I think is a schmeiser. I think mine has been broken or lost on the back of the Schmeiser. Sometimes you had um, shoulder butt, um, a foldable shoulder butt, and this hasn't got it. So I think that's quite difficult to get. I've looked and people are asking sort of 15 pounds for that at the moment. So that's something I will look into. But for now, he's got that. I presume they came off. This is the, the later issue. German Stormtrooper. Why they call them Stormtroopers, I don't know. So I'm going to get Star Wars. Um, this is the late issue. Um, let's read a little bit about the late issue, see if there's any differences. It looks similar, maybe um, slightly lighter green. And probably, if I had the uniform here, you'd probably be able to tell by the thickness of the cloth and the overall quality. Right, so let's read a bit about the late issue. Okay. The major difference between the Soldier of the World set and the first issue version is the quality of the material. There we go, we said that. This picture here provides a good example of this as emphasis by the contrast between the breast eagle ribbon. So yeah, then what they're saying is that you see the thicker material and the emblem looks a lot better. The emblem looks like a, it's on a ribbon where here, it just 
isn't printed so well, I don't think, and embroidered so well. Mm. The other major difference are the breast pockets, which are square in this set. So they're square. In the first issue, they're rounded. Can't quite see in that picture, but it says they are. And the paper helmet shield stickers, which replace the first issue transfers. So these are transfers. I don't really understand the difference between a transfer and a paper sticker. I really don't understand the difference in that. Maybe you guys can tell me. But there is there. Right, the Schmeiser submachine gun. By this stage, most action men weapons have polyurethane straps. Oh, that's something to look at. Whether it was a, whether it had the lugs, which this one doesn't. Normally when it has the polyurethane straps, it has a plastic lug on each end, but this doesn't. This has got, you can see, it's got a small hole which allows for, a, uh, I think, brass clip and then an elastic strap. I think how it works. And I think it went to this butt one here as well. So I think this is the first issue Schmeiser. The front strap attachment on the MP38 slash 40 has moved from the end to the base of the barrel. Which is funny enough, in this, in this late issue, it seems like they have actually got my weapon. I think, like in this book sometimes, I don't think they had all of the bits. So I think in the first issue, wow. Looks like the sniper's back again. This time, perfect shot. Actually broken the rubber lug. Totally now, so we might have trouble keeping the head there at all. So we might be forced to fix that now. What the book is telling me is that the first issue guns, the strap connects there, and on the second issue, somewhere down here. I am uh, convinced. Looking at these pictures here, looking at these, I'll show you picture in picture. I'm convinced this is the first issue, which I'm really happy about because maybe I didn't have the first issue. I really don't know. Um, Probably playing with Action Man in mid mid seventies, so maybe I did have the later issue. As I found out, looking at my Action Man, that the early issues are just almost art. Really, the uniforms are art. They're like the military policemen I've just done, and the army officer, their uniforms were amazing. Even down to pairs of socks and shirts underneath. I don't think this guy has anything underneath, but. This still is an amazing uniform. The cloth is just top quality. Established, I think this is the uh, first issue. And I'm waffling on a bit now, so what we do is, without further ado, we'll get into, um... oh, just, just to say as well, there's the late issue Stormtrooper. There also is a Colditz German Stormtrooper, which looks very similar to the one I've got, but again, I can see these uh, lapel things look like stickers where mine look like ribbons sewn on. So I'm 99.9% .9 sure that this is the first issue. So let's go through his uniform and see what we've got. Helmet, obviously we've got. Tunic and trousers we've got. Marching boots we've got. Cartridge belt. Mind your head, mate. Well, we've got a belt of sorts, but no cartridges on there. Let's put his head back on because it looks a bit grim without his head. Just stay there, yeah. He has a field pack. He has a grenade. It says grenades here, but I remember I put one of the one of his grenades on Africa Corps, so uh, he did have two grenades. Not a problem. I can always get some more down the line. Um, the Schmeiser MP38 and 40. We've got, but we. We haven't got the shoulder butt, the foldable shoulder butt, so that's something I'll look for. Might have to buy a new gun, totally. Also, he should have a Luger pistol and a holster. Now, his holster and his Luger there. The Luger's in the holster, so that's a good thing to have. They're not easy to come by. And he should have an iron cross. Now, none of my action men have the medals. That's something down the line I will start looking for. But at the moment, for me, probably because they got lost so often, I don't actually remember them as a child. So I just remember the action men, the uniform, and the bits that went with them. Right, so there he is. He's complete, and I think we have a first issue German Stormtrooper, albeit with a broken head that we need to repair. Um, but I am really chuffed with him. So all that's left to say 
is ein, zwei, get in the cupboard, yeah? Or we could say, get in the cupboard. Let's put him in his rightful place and try not to knock his head off again. There you go. This is our first German in the cupboard. That's it for this video. If you don't mind, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next exciting episode. Lass sie fallen oder ich schieße. Lass sie fallen oder ich schieße. Lass sie fallen oder ich schieße.